The following trailer is rated S for spoilers, but come on, you know you've already seen this movie. From the company that owns everything you know and love, and Diet Spielberg comes a movie that had to satisfy decades of pinup nerd expectations, make up for the prequels, introduce the franchise to a new generation of fans, make enough money to justify Disney's $4 billion investment, and also, you know, be good. So, no pressure. Star Wars The Force Awakens. The Force has awakened, and its first order is to revitalize the franchise while setting the stage for an amazing expansion of the Star Wars Cinematic Universe by shamelessly remaking A New Hope. What the? Who are you? I'm the original Honest Trailer voice, and the originals are always better. Yeah, you wish. Now pipe down. I've got the best movie of the year to talk about. Best? Oh man, I'm not going anywhere. Someone has to stop you from going full fanboy. Uh oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. All your favorite characters are back for another adventure. Leia, Chewie, Han. And they all look really old. Uh, okay, but these living legends are passing the torch to a new generation of heroes, like Rey, an orphan scavenger who's so poor she has to make her own Star Wars action figures. She's a multilingual expert mechanic slash ace pilot slash force using badass who's so good at everything it makes her character completely uncompelling. <gasps> how dare you? I mean, come on, how is she so good at everything? Because, you know, she has the Force, and it's awakening, and the Force makes you awesome. That's not how the Force works. Shut up, Han Solo. Gah. But Rey's not the only one obsessed with Star Wars. Meet Kylo Ren, a brooding Jedi outcast, torn between his family legacy and the dark side. Never before has Star Wars had a villain so layered, so complex, and so whiny. He acts like a goth kid who can't find his eyeliner. You know what? If you're gonna keep butting in, why don't you just take over? Now we're talking. Gear up for a film so desperate to recapture the magic of the first Star Wars. It practically is the first Star Wars. Featuring a desert orphan finding a cute droid with top secret information, who escapes the Empire thanks to the Millennium Falcon, visits a shady cantina, learns about the Force from a tiny alien, watches a man in black kill her mentor, then helps destroy a Death Star by deactivating a shield generator so that X-Wings can make a trench run. It's another Death Star. Oh man. But it's so much more than a rehash of everything that made A New Hope great. It's got all new stories to tell, like Finn, a conflicted First Order Stormtrooper turned rebel, hunky badass Poe Dameron, and don't forget Captain Phasma, an awesome looking Stormtrooper commander who's completely wasted in just 91 seconds of screen time that end with her useless character getting thrown in the garbage. Yeah, they totally wasted Brienne of Tarth. But get ready to speculate, as Abrams plants the seeds of questions that will drive fans wild with anticipation. Like, who is Snoke? Who are Rey's parents? And why does R2-D2 suddenly wake up? Plus, questions that will annoy the rest of the fans. Like, why does R2-D2 suddenly wake up? Why is everyone in the galaxy either a Skywalker or a Solo? And why would we expect the guy who made Lost to have good answers for any of these questions? Where'd you get that? A good question for another time. Man, is there anything we can agree on about this movie? I don't know. How about on the count of three, we name our favorite parts. Ready? One, two, three. Kyle Ren stops a blaster bolt. bolt. Flying through a crash star destroyer. Poe Dameron's beautiful face. Admiral Ackbar. Okay, now least favorite. Leia hugging Ray instead, instead of Chewie after, after Han Solo dies. dies. Did we just become best friends? Yes. Starring. Lay AARP, Mary Sue, Better Anakin, FN2187, hey, that's my pin number, Han Polo, Emperor Voldemort, R2D2, 2, Han Solong, a waste of the perfectly good The Raid cast, the easiest money Mark Hamill ever made, and butthole eyes, Star Wars, a familiar hope. Well, nice meeting you, other epic voice guy. May the voice be with you. Hey guys, any reason why you didn't invite me? Who are you? I voiced the first ever Honest Trailer, remember? 
in 3D! Hey guys, don't forget about me. I did Avatar. Ooh, man. I love how you said bloobs. 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 Hey, guys. I heard you were having a voice party. How'd you all get in here? I got some pizza rolls in my underwear if you want some. Maybe you should consider locking your booth. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. Hey, Screen Junkies, now that the Force is with us again, it's time for another awakening. We've teamed up with the awesome team from How It Should Have Ended for an exclusive brand new show, After Credits, where we give our favorite movies the after credits scenes they deserve. Click the box to watch the first episode for Interstellar right now. We'll drop four new episodes each and every month, exclusively on Screen Junkies Plus. So crack open the bookcase and watch our first episode right now. Murph! Boobs! Like you said it in Game of Thrones Honest Trailer. Welcome aboard the SS Bodie McBoatface. Hi, I'm Negan. Luke, I am not your father. I am a potato. Honey, where are my pants? M. Night Shyamalan is the best director to ever live. Ugh. My name is Crap Bag. First name Crap, last name Bag. Fool of a toque. Winter is coming and do Star Wars The Force Awakens. We just did.